Today we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension. We celebrate the day that Jesus ascended into heaven to sit at the right hand of the Father. I think sometimes it feels like an odd thing to celebrate. In the Gospel of John, Jesus tells us that it's better for you that I go. It's better for you that I go. I don't know about you, but sometimes it doesn't feel like it's better for us that he went. Sometimes it doesn't feel like, like it's better for us. There's so much work left to do, right? There's so many hungry people left to feed, so many sick people left to heal, so many outcast people left to welcome in. And sometimes it feels like Jesus isn't helping. Where is he? Where are we supposed to find him? This is the thing with the ascension. It changes where we find him. It changes how he works. To find him now, we don't have to have lived in the first century in Galilee. We find him now in the sacraments. We find him in the community of the church we can find him in the poor. We can even find him in ourselves. Jesus makes his home in us. Jesus dwells in our own hearts. So we don't have to look far. It's in the quiet of our own hearts that he can be found. And that's also where he works now. In his earthly life, Jesus fed and he healed and he transformed from the outside. But now he's working from the inside. Because he went away, Jesus' spirit permeates all of creation and is transforming it from within. This is why we don't mourn at Jesus' ascension, but we celebrate. Because now he dwells in us. Now he works in us. And on this ascension day, let's pray that we have the strength and the courage to allow him to work and to transform the world through us.